Hey guys, last video today. <laughs> I've made a bunch. Um, this one is an unboxing, so we'll, there's a little bit, so we'll get started. First thing. Okay, um, this one, um, for one of my Facebook pages slash blog, Reading for Fun, we were doing a traveling book. So this is a traveling book, and it is Breaking Glass by Lisa Amowitz, and I'm the last one on the Canadian tour to get it. And basically, we sent it around, um, it's signed, and all the people that were involved, you could, like, write little notes in here, and, like, of your favorite parts, and, like, highlight in it, just so when the next people read it, they would see, like, what you liked and what they didn't like. Which, I know it seems crazy to write in a book. <laughs> like, I'm kind of nervous about it. I guess I don't really have to because I'm the last one. Um, yeah, and then there was one in the States. So, um, if you guys want to be part of the next traveling book, just comment down below and I will keep it in mind for the next time and I will keep you posted and let you know. And I'll let you know what I think of the book when I read it. I'll just read you the back because I couldn't really remember what it was about because I signed up a long time ago. On the night, 17-year-old Jeremy Glass winds up in the hospital with a broken leg and a blood alcohol level well above the legal limit. His secret crush, Savannah, Susanna, disappears. When he begins receiving messages from her from beyond the grave, he's not sure whether they're real or if he's losing his grip on reality. Clue by clue, Jeremy gets closer to unraveling the mystery and realizes he must discover the truth or become the next victim himself. Mystery, ghost story, yay! Another one. Okay, this one um, I won from Goodreads First Reads, which you'll be hearing a lot, but I love it. And this one is an ARC copy of Since You've Been Gone by um, Morgan Matson, And I love this cover. It's absolutely adorable. So this one, it was Sloane who yanked Emily out of her shell and made life 100% more interesting. But right before what should have been the most epic summer, Sloane just disappears and all she leaves behind is a to-do list. On it, 13 Sloan inspired tasks that Emily would normally never try, but what if they could bring her best friend back? So, I guess it just follows her on a summer of doing the to-do list. So I just thought it sounded really good. And that one was from um, Simon and Schuster Canada, so thank you Simon and Schuster Canada! Okay, boxy one. Okay, um, this one is another Goodreads First Reads win, because apparently I re win a lot of them, which is awesome. I'm not complaining. Um, Beyond the Rails by Jack Tyler. And this one is a steampunk novel. So he falls in love with a girl who is a airship pilot. Kind of just a bunch of stuff, but yeah, it's like a steampunk read. Okay, and another one. This one's a little bit ripped open. Okay, and this one is The Lioness, A True Love Tale by Jake How do... Bonsignore. Sorry if I butchered your last name. Um, I've read his other books, Imperial Illusions and um, Awakening the Fire, and they are really good. They are fancy. This one is a contemporary, so I look forward to getting to it. And then I have a big box from Book Outlet. What else is new? <laughs> I guess it's not that big of a box. Could be bigger. <laughs> okay, I got Back in Black, an A-list novel by Zoe Dean. I think I have a couple of these ones, so I just want to try to get them all. Um, Beautiful Days, a Bright Young Things novel by Anna Goberson. I have the first one, so I just want to collect the rest of the series again. Um, this one I've been seeing all over the place, and I want to grab it for not full price. <laughs> um, the Mortal Instruments Companion by Lois H. Gresh. This is the unauthorized guide. Then I was seeing this one all over, and it was super cheap, so I grabbed it. Uh, Slayers by C.J. Hill. Obviously about dragons and a dragon slayer. And then, because it was really cheap, it just has a rip here. It must have been scratch and dent. Um, if I Should Die by Amy Plum, 
And I believe this is the third one, and I have the other two. Yes, this is the third one. And then, I'm super excited for this one. Um, very first graphic novel, um, A Wrinkle in Time. Um, so it's illustrated by Hope Larson, but the original book is by Madeline LaEngles. And I'm excited. I haven't actually read A Wrinkle in Time, but look at those pretty pictures. But I thought maybe if I have the graphic novel, it will kind of kick my butt into gear and I'll read it. I have the box set of it too, so... Then I was really excited for this one, um, even though I found it as the second book, but that's okay. I got The Walking Dead, The Road to Woodbury by Robert Kirkman and Jay Bonasinga, and it was also a scratch and dent, but there's just a tiny little rip here. Um, I love The Friggin' Walking Dead, and this one, um, it's about like a different character in Woodbury that we don't see on the show. Um, but it does have the, the governor. And I hate the governor. He's such a dick. So I want to read this. Because I just hate him. And yay for the show. Then I bought this one. Because I've kind of been seeing like movie companions around. And now I'm just like, that's so sweet. I want movie companions. And this one was only $1.99. And like, for the first book, it was like 7 something. So that was crazy. So when they go on sale, I'm going to buy them. I got... Um, Eclipse, the official illustrated movie companion by Mark Coda Vaz. So, I don't know, it just has like a bunch of pictures, whatever, about book to movie. So, you know, that's cool. And then I obviously had to save the best for last. This was like what I was so excited for, and it's a scratch and dent. It was like, cheap like it's like regular $50 and I got it for like seven and I was really nervous um that it wasn't going to come with the dust jacket but it doesn't and it doesn't need one um I don't think it came with one to begin with but hello Game of Thrones oh oh I'm in love and it's like a soft kind of cover but like hello Hello, how beautiful! I can't stop saying hello. And it basically just goes through like every character, um, shows you timelines of like the book, talks about each one and like um, how they are in the show compared to the book. Like this part. Ah! Uh, if you saw the show, frick! It's, like, grossest part ever. I don't want to, like, ruin anything. Like. So, I'm super excited to, like, read this. And I kind of, like, cheated and read the back. And I guess they, like, on the set they play pranks. And if you guys have watched it, um, the guy who plays Jon Snow, they, like, played a prank on him. Because they said that, because he's a good-looking guy. And he's one of those guys that, like, knows he go he's good-looking. So they, like, wrote a fake scene for him and, like, gave him the script where he is saving someone and gets in a fire and like his face melts off and he gets bald and like his lips gone and like all this stuff just to see if he'd be like all pissed off because he doesn't get to be good looking but they said he was a good sport and then there was like another prank with um oh i can't remember the guy's name Therion, the um Greyjoy guy and i guess because he isn't in the books or he dies in the books or something i don't know and um, so he's super nervous about if they're gonna kill his character off, so they, like, made a fake scene where his character gets killed, and they, like, sent it to him when he was on vacation, and he was like, okay, like, I knew my time was coming, so on and so forth, and then they're like, oh, well, some people come back as, like, zombies or, like, white walkers, do you want to come back as one? And he's like, okay, sure, like, acting's still acting, and they're like, but you'll have to be naked, and then he's like, drew the line at being a naked zombie, which I thought was hilarious. So yeah, it's I think it's going to be like a really good read and it's like an awesome book to have in my collection. So I'm super excited. And yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Bye!